Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your own data data science workstation on your system. That is for the software aspect, not the hardware. Okay, so first of all, these are some of the things you need. I'll provide the list below so that you can just move on with it. So first of all, you need to download Anaconda. So Anaconda is a very powerful tool. It comes back with everything packaged to help you in your data science work over about 1,000 packages. So it is always one of the best way of setting up. So there is it you can just install Python 3.6 or Python 2.7. So everything concerning Python, all the packages, Sci SciPy, NumPy, all those packages, you can find it with Anaconda. Okay. So apart from that, you can also use Jupyter Notebook, which is very powerful, just like Anaconda. It is quite simple and quite useful for all as your test editor, as your interactive id very powerful so you can also install it from this place by going to install and then install jupyter right so you can either use pip install or if you go with anaconda to so just come together with it so it comes with jupyter notebook and then jupyter lab which is the newest version okay so now we are done with the python aspect with this aspect so you can you need to also install python if you want a simple aspect without installing anaconda can just go with Python, the official website of Python, and then install Python on your system. So either 36, 3.6, and then 2.7. This is the newest version. Okay, and it's stable. So you also need to install Julia. Also, if you want to use Julia as part of your package, so you go to julia.julialand.org, then you go to the downloads. The newest version is 3.6.1, which is released about a week ago. Then you just install 64, right? So after that, you can also install R, which is for R statistics programming language. You go to the ccran.r project.org, then you install download R for Windows, right? So these are the main languages that you'll be using Python, Julia, and then R. So Jupyter, the J for Julia, PY for Python, and then R for R. So these are the main packages that you'll be, be using. Okay, so after downloading this once, you also need to download your ID. So first of all, for Python, you can use a PyCharm, which is very useful. We have two versions, the professional and the community. The community is free and open source. You can use this one or the professional, which is comes with web development. Okay. Then for Julia, you can also use Atom, right, which is Juno. You can just install it perfectly and it's going to work like with everything that you need to do with Julia. Okay, that is for the Julia and for R, you also have R Studio. It's very nice. It comes together with this very powerful ID and everything together, which you can also use for your R. So these are the three main ones. You can use PyCharm for Python, Juno for Juno Atom for Julia, and then R Studio for R. Okay, so now we are done with the programming language and the test editors. Now let's move on to more efficient ways. So we need a test editor. So the test editors that you'll be using include first of all, you can use your normal Windows test editor. But this is very nice commander. Commander.net is very powerful, very nice, very useful. Okay. And then you can also use con M, which is just like by the same company that made the com commander. And it's very nice. It gives you the option of partitioning it just like Terminator. Okay. So the next one you also need is you need to download putty to make ssh costs right which everybody knows how to do that then you also need git bash to allow you to use Git on your system Git is very important so commander these ones are for the terminals now let's move on to our test editors so there are several test editors you can use based on your liking i recommend sublime which is uh most people's old favorite you can just install windows 64 if your system is in 64 then you can also install Atom. Atom is very useful, very nice package. You can just install it here. And then you can also go on with Virtual Studio, which is making more hype these days. So you go on with 64. Sure, Virtual Studio. Group. So these are the three main test editors. There are several test editors you can use, but these are the three main ones you can use. So after that, you also need some other packages, which is very important. First of all, you need code blocks. The reason you need code blocks is that sometimes you have to write your own program which is very very fast very fast so although julia is very fast python is fast and r is also fast but c 
is it's also useful that you have C and then C++ so code blocks is very useful for the C and then also you need one very powerful to call Excel Excel is very very powerful people under people most people undermine it but it's very powerful and it's very useful when you are doing the analysis it's very it has a lot of features but most people don't use it okay so that is Excel Excel always comes with most of its products okay now there are other packages that are very useful that you can also use first of all you need Tableau Tableau is just like Excel, very powerful data analysis tool. You can go to their website, tableau.org, and also have SAS or SAS, just statistics analysis software, very powerful. You can try it for free, but you will need to install VirtualBox first. So you go to VirtualBox.org and install it. Everything you need VirtualBox is that sometimes you also need to try with Linux. So on your system, if you are using Windows, so you can use VirtualBox to help you with that. So now there's also another package called Click. It is from Click View, which is very useful for data analytics. You can also install it for free. Try it for free. Now having installed these things, sometimes you also you need to get data sets to be able to practice it. So you can get the data set from UCI M machine learning. So it have plenty of data sets that you can install and then try your hands on. And also Kaggle, which is very, very powerful. It gives you competition data sets which you can try your hands on. Can, you have to sign in okay and then after getting your data set learning how to do your exploratory data analysis and all these things you also need to be able to package your model and please build an app so that is when docker comes inside to be able to help you to container, containerize your model and your app so docker is very good you can install it straight away it makes your work easier and then you also need github which is everybody's favorite to be able to store your stuff there and then Bitbuckers, which is almost the same thing. So these are the main things that you need when you are setting up your data science workstation. Okay, so concerning big data, you also need this programming language. You need Scala, right? It's very useful if you are, if you are dealing with very big data sets. And then as well as all the other programming language you learn, R, Python, and Julia. So there are other Two that you also need for doing dealing with big data, which is very very huge sample data. One of them is Apache Hive. You can get it from their official website, and then you also need a uh, Hadoop, right? You can also download it from the official website. So these are the two main package. There is also Pick. There is Pick, 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 Pick. Yeah, there's also Apache Pick, which is also very useful. So these are the three main Hadoop. Hive and then pick also Scala and for Java to you also need to know about Java too, so you can get an IDE IntelliJ or any of the uh, IDEs and then you for the final aspect concerning database management you need to know about MySQL so you have to download MySQL right so you have to know and understand about the setup and then you also need to if you want you can also use MongoDB and then the last one is data db browser for sql so these are the main things that you need to include so there's also another tool which is very useful which i forgot it's called data data science see my spelling data science toolkit right toolbox or toolkit so it comes it's an online software or platform that comes with everything package as a, as a website for you you can just go to that website and everything you just create an account and then everything that you need will be there so you just follow what in the instruction just like this okay so that is it okay so that is all so i've already installed most of i've already downloaded most of them so these are all the things that i was talking about i've downloaded most of them so i'll be installing them one by one it takes time so you just install thank you for watching and stay blessed